In this demo, we will showcase an ACRI configuration that uses ACRI to discover and interact with OnViv cameras. First, we deploy to cluster. It contains a single node called ACRI Demo running on an Intel Nook machine. And you can see from the instance type that we're running K3s. We went with Rancher K3s as our Kubernetes distro as it fits our edge scenario and is easy to deploy. Here you can see the ACRI controller and agent. You can also see a demo streaming application that will be showcased later. ACRI is configured by deploying a YAML file. Our Helm command did this for us, as we specified we wanted to use the OnVIF configuration. The configuration is where you specify what LEAF devices should be available to the cluster. You can see we have configured this cluster to have access to OnVIF cameras. In the ACRI configuration, we have specified OnVIF as the protocol, with nothing in our exclude list, allowing any OnVIF camera to be seen by the cluster. We've specified a broker spec, which tells the ACRI controllers which pods should be deployed to access any discovered cameras. We've specified a capacity of one, meaning only one node can deploy a broker to each camera. For high availability, this number could be increased. We also specified service specs that provide stable access points to the cameras across the cluster. In this case, a service will be generated to access each camera found and one to access all the cameras. We can use existing common Kubernetes tooling like Kubernetes dashboard to see that initially there are no OnViv camera instances found in our cluster. We can further confirm this by looking at our streaming application, which isn't displaying any frames. So to get this demo started, let's plug in a camera to the network. ACRI will discover the camera, deploy its broker pod, and set up two services, one to access frames from all cameras and one to access frames specifically from this new camera. The streaming app is querying from both services. The larger top feed is pulling frames from all cameras in round robin fashion, and each smaller feed is pulling frames from an individual camera. We will see this in more detail when we have more than one camera. With that in mind, let's plug in another camera. Again, ACRI will discover the camera, deploy the broker pod, and configure the services. You can see this as our streaming app updates to reflect the new camera, both in the all cameras feed above and in the specific camera feed below. So you can imagine what will happen if we plug in a third camera. Sure enough, yet again, ACRI will discover the camera and enable our streaming app to show us feed coming from all cameras and individual feeds from each camera. We can go back to our dashboard to see the discovered OnViv cameras. And beyond that, we can drill down into the camera instance to see what nodes are accessing the camera and the metadata that has the connection information for that specific camera. This metadata is inserted into the broker pods as environment variables. This sample was built for OnViv cameras, but keep in mind that ACRI was designed to be extensible, allowing anyone to add their own capability definition and logic to deploy any custom broker.